recently I've really started to get into this thrash metal music. <laughs> I don't know, there's something about it, man, that I just can't let go. <laughs> it's great, it's great. There's this one band out that's called uh, Napalm Death. And, uh, and it's so hilarious. I mean, that I, I listened to this album, I started listening to this album, and it was literally, I'm not exaggerating, <laughs> that was it. <laughs> one band that I always go back to, and I haven't listened to stuff in a while, like that type of music, but um, Job for a Cowboy. Oh, wow. Um, You're taking a metal. Horizon. Yeah, Bring Me the Horizon. <laughs> it was Unearth and Demi Borgia. And somebody else, oh goodness, yeah, I don't remember. More intense than I am. I know. And I had been the whole time, I was like this tall, I think it was like 95 pounds. I lost a shoe and I crowd surfed to the front. Oh and goodness. they were like, I was like in the middle of the mosh pit, but I was going crazy because I loved it. The dream electric was to play electric, yeah, it's all electric, electric. So, yeah. lead guitar and a heavy metal band. Like Metallica? What? Yeah, sure, exactly, yeah. Metallica, um, Megadeth, Iron Maiden, Slayer, Sepultura, Crumb Suckers, they were a speed metal band. Wow. Um, lots of them. Yeah, and then sort of punk as well. Rain and Blood? Great album. Oh. Slipknot. I went to a Slipknot concert. It was actually, to this day, probably the best concert I've ever gone to. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Slipknot. It they're, they're just amazing performers. Even if you don't like metal, I think you'd appreciate of a course, Slipknot sure. concert because it's just like incredible to watch. Probably have to go with Tool since I'm a friend of Lee, Lee guitarist Adam Jones. I mean, they're an iconic metal band, and what better way to send me down to do what I do best and destroy things than Tool? Do you think you can, you can convince them to put out the new album a little earlier? I, I've asked them multiple times how long it's going to be and stuff like that, and they're keeping it pretty kind of under, under wraps like they've done everything they always do. So it's anticipated, and I'm ready for it to come out as well. Yeah. I go. coming in today to get tattooed, I am so thrilled. When people ask me, oh, if you could tattoo anybody, who could it be? The only person I've ever listed is Lemmy. Out of all of the musicians that I've tattooed, this is definitely one of the most exciting ones. Sweet. All right, so you ready to check it out? Let's go. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, that's great. I went with Dave, my, my, my drum teacher. I went to Meshuggah, who I'd never seen live. And uh, I got to tell you, it was a fucking life-altering experience. I, I, I can't remember the last time I saw a fucking band that blew my mind like that. And they got this song, Bleed. And on top, he's playing like eighth notes with the backbeat on three. So everybody's head is moving to that, like, ga, 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 ga. I can't even do it, right? But underneath his feet are going like, the whole fucking song, basically. I can't say enough how fucking unbelievable that band is, and you're doing yourself a disservice as a human being if you never see them live. I did some work with a metal band called Rhapsody, in which there was a wonderful song called The Magic of the Wizard's Dream. I also contributed in a different way to something that was done by Man of War, with whom I would very much like to work again. They brought forth that demon horn. 